Today, I want to show you how you can create this brush stroke effect in Canva using the Dream Lab. You may have seen this brush stroke effect pop up on Etsy. It seems to be really popular at the moment. And the beauty of it is you can use it across all niches, whether that's camping, dogs, nature, whatever your niche is, you can tailor it to that. Basically, it's four brush strokes, three or four brush strokes. And in each brush stroke, there is an element of the niche that you're catering to. So, for instance, if you were using food, you could have the four brush strokes. There would be a different kind of food or pots and pans, kitchenware, something that's relative to that niche within those brush strokes. And of course, when it's got a transparent background, this PNG can be used across all kinds of products. So whether you're sublimating, whether you're doing print on demand, whether you're doing digital products, these are a really cute design. And if you stay around till the end, I'm going to show you how you can save credits by amending your designs. Because quite often we create designs and there's an element in each one that we like. I'm going to show you how you can repair those and also how you can grab different elements out of different designs to use elsewhere. So let's jump into Canva. So when we're in Canva, we want to head here to the Dream Lab, click on the Dream Lab, and here's when we can put our prompt in and we can create whatever we want to create. So these were the brush stroke designs that I created and I wanted to do it on a country theme. We're farmers, country theme is my niche and that's what I enjoy doing. So I wanted to create something around farming, crops, animals, and this is what it created with my prompt. So I think this is my favourite one. If I click on it, it shows me my prompt here. And don't worry, I'll leave this prompt below for you. But basically, I asked it for a hand-painted soft watercolour design. I wanted rough vertical brush strokes. I wanted them, the elements filled with in a farming theme. Earthy shades, I told it the colours that I wanted. And what I wanted in each brush stroke. I also said that I wanted the background to be clean and white, just so it makes it easy that when I can remove the background and make it into a transparent PNG. So I thought this was lovely. I'm not too sure what's going on with these hens, but don't worry about those. We'll sort those out later. So let's have a look what else. As you can see, some of them were designed actually inside of the brush stroke. I personally prefer when they're outside of the brush strokes like this, although that is really cute as well. It's just a personal choice. So as you can see, it's created all sorts. It's what you like best. But quite often we get good designs and they're just a little bit wrong and then we have to use our credits up. Well, not anymore because take this one, for instance. I think that's really, really cute but it's no good these brush strokes here standing out like that. I would also probably like to use that colour behind that or maybe the dark blue. So let's click into it and see what we can do. So first of all, I'm going to remove the background. I'm going to make it so that it's completely transparent when I download it. Secondly, I want to put this red brush stroke behind this barn. I want to get rid of this light blue one because I've got a light blue one there and I think I want to get rid of that blue one as well. So to me the easiest thing to do is to duplicate this picture and I do that by clicking the two pluses there or I can command C command V to copy and paste. So let's duplicate it like that. Let me just add a page down below it and I can grab that and just sit that down there for a minute. So let's click on the picture and let's drag these in. I want to now click on this, I'm going to duplicate it again, I'm going to push this up here and I'm going to go over to here and try and remove this dark blue one, like so. Okay, I've still got a little black edge on it. Now I'm going to click on this, I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to Magic Eraser and I'm going to take this top corner of this blue bit here. When you go to edit, it shows you the whole design that you're working on, even though we've cropped some off. But that doesn't matter. Let's erase it. Now we have that gone. So we can move this closer. I now want to remove this blue brush stroke and put this red one behind it. So again, click on it, get the purple outline, go to edit. And I now want to go to Magic Grab. I'm going to click on that blue brush stroke there. It's highlighted it as you can see. I want to grab it and I want to delete it. Okay, I'm going to refresh my screen again. And now that's gone. Now I need to remove that little blue bit at the bottom. So again, click on edit, click on magic eraser. And I'm just going to remove that across the bottom like that. Erase. And then that's disappeared. So now I want to move this on here again. I want to click on it. I want to go to magic grab. And I want to grab this here. So I just click on it and there it's going to grab it for me. 
Now, I don't want to delete it this time. I want to be able to move it around like so. Place it on top, go to position, to the back, and now I can see that where that blue, light blue brush stroke was, we need to erase that. So again, click on it, edit, magic eraser, and we need to get rid of where that blue brush stroke was. Probably make the brush a bit smaller so it's tidier. But anyway, I'm just doing this quick. Click erase. Click refresh. And there I have the red stroke behind. Now there's quite a bit of space here. So what I would want to do here, again, I can bring this in like this. Bring it tight up. Go back here to this one that I duplicated and take this right back to here. Again, I can delete anything that's overlapping. Click the magic eraser. And I think I want to take all of that out. There, it takes that. Also, I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller and I'm going to remove this because it looks like something had been erased there. Erase. Move that up. Now let's refresh. And we can now see that that looks like that. So that's great. Let's group them all. Make them a little bit bigger. Centralise it. And there we have an amended PNG. Now, it's taken a little bit of time to do that. If I was doing that without showing, I could have done that a lot quicker. And that's super handy, especially if you don't want to keep renewing or paying more for credits. So if we take that design now, we would download it as a PNG with a transparent background and then download it. So to mock this up for a listing or to show you what it would look like on clothing, I can get the design, Command C, go over to my mock-up image, click on it, Command V, paste it in there. And, and there you can see that's a clothing design or can be used for several things for your print on demand. Let's go back to Canva, see which else there were. Now, I like this one, so let's edit this because I'm not quite sure what these hens are doing here. Again, I can click on the design, go to Magic Grab, click on these hens, grab them, and I can either delete them if I haven't got a place for them or if I wanted to maybe just use one. And I could put that there like that in the design, and then I don't think I need to do anything further with that other than remove the background on it. And then thirdly, this one here, I quite like that barn there and I think I could use that in other designs so let's go and grab that again we make sure the purple outline click on magic grab I want that barn there I want the whole barn not just the cross on it so yeah that's grabbed it for me now again I can do anything with this barn I can move it and do anything so if I click on it I can command C and then I can go over to any other design at all and I can command V anything in my Canva at all I don't want that there but I did use that barn in another design it's for my upcoming AI design membership I used it in an image here and if I paste it on you, you can see that it's the same image I just put it to the back so it just means that none of these images from anything that you've created go to waste like these for instance I could use those as digital stickers again let's click on it let's do the magic grab let's say for instance this grab and there you have a really cute image to use in something else. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to leave everything below, the prompt, everything that we've talked about, I'll leave links to, including my free guide, 15 Styles and Designs Predicted to be Big on Etsy in 2025, which is already proving to be following those trends. Grab that, it's free. It'll give you loads of ideas for designs, products, all sorts in there. And watch these videos next, the top five Canva AI features that every digital product seller should know about, and also how to edit AI text inside of Canva as well. That will help you fix any of that rogue AI text in your designs. I'll see you in the next one.